everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of the 100. This is season number two, episode number 10, titled Survival of the Fittest. So let's, first things first, it's been a while since I've seen an episode of the 100, so I'm going to try to like refresh my memory a bit. I know Finn is dead. And last episode we kind of, um, we did the whole death ritual thing. Clark kind of like... She she feels like she's changed a little bit. Her and Lexa appear to be on the same page, which seems to kind of like create dissension amongst the grounders. At least some of the grounders don't feel like like this is the the, the right course of action for them. And I believe Gustus was the guy who 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 tried to sever the alliance by um by poisoning. The, the drink that Kane offered Lexa as, as a, like a toast for a celebration of this newfound friendship, I guess. And he was basically found out they were like torturing Raven because they thought it was her. She had like every reason to. Um, she came in with a bunch of weapons, knives, and then uh, Augustus is the guy that, that, that found the, the drugs or the whatever the poison on her, which was convenient. So... He was found out. He's now dead. And Lexa appears to have Clark kind of on her side. It doesn't appear like Clark has Lexa on the on our side. It feels like she is on their side. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it appears that Clark is changing. Now, I don't know if it's for the better or not. But it's interesting nonetheless. Um... So I really, I'm really enjoying that storyline. The Mount Weather stuff is kind of interesting. We just went a couple episodes like without it, so it felt like the story was kind of petering out there. But last episode, we um, uh, uh, what was it? Monty sent like figured out that they were jamming all our, our communications, and they figured out that they're the ones that crashed the dropship. And he was able to kind of get a, a, a distress signal out, like a repeated message out. That which was eventually heard by Clark and Raven and, you know, those guys uh, in the last episode. But unfortunately, Monty was caught. He was doing a little bit too much. I don't know. He should have just ran, fucked the cart and just booked it like they would never have caught him. They don't even know who he was. You know what I'm saying? So if he would have just left the cart and just ran, I think he would have been OK. But we found out at the end of the episode he was in a cage in the one of 47 cages that was made especially for the 47 of them alongside Harper. Like, out of every, everywhere, all those cages, we're going to have Harper and Monty, like, literally together. So, gee, I wonder what's going to happen there. They're going to work together and escape, I'm assuming. If not, eh, we'll see what happens there. Um, so, with the title, like, Survival of the Fittest, it, it makes me think that we're, we're going to start, like, our our... our travels to mount weather you know the 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 collaboration of of us and the grounders so i'm guessing we're gonna get some sort of confrontation not i don't know if it's with like um god it's been so long since we've been in mount weather um the president was his name wallace or something like that um so i wonder if we're gonna have like maybe like three-way meeting of, of the leaders or something but i'm interested oh and another thing I, I know in the youtube comments uh it felt like you guys were coming for me because i wasn't like enthusiastic about the the lincoln storyline it's not like I, w I didn't get it like you guys kept saying you know you don't get it you don't get it oh i get it it's just not very interesting it's not very exciting it's actually pretty pretty boring um because there's nothing really interesting about it like i get he was taken they put drugs in him. They made him want the stuff. He made him into a crazy zombie. Then what happens? Now he's not a zombie. And now he's back to regular old Lincoln. Like, who cares? Like, I don't... That did nothing. We learned how they made Reapers. Okay. They couldn't have had any other way to get that information across. Like, it literally did nothing for Lincoln. Lincoln and Octavia are just kind of like... Like, circling about each other. Like, it feels like they have nothing to do. You know, they just feel like outcasts. And I don't know if that's intentional or whatever, but that's just how I feel. So I do get it. It's just not very good, in my opinion. So if you're a fan of it, good job. 
um, just not for me. But yeah, I think I'm just ready to hop into this. But before I do, I want to remind you guys, if you guys want to skip the YouTube highlights and watch this episode with me in its entirety, that option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is drop a like, comment down below what you want to see me react to next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, let's stop talking. Let's watch this episode of The 100. Have a great time and discuss it afterwards. And uh, until then, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And all right, guys, here we go. Let's do it. Protected my sister before you even knew her. Why? Good question. When I was a boy, I saw a ship fall from the sky. The man inside was hurt, his body broken. I brought him food, water. I didn't speak the enemy's language yet, told my father. He made me kill him. The world's been trying to turn me into a monster for as long as I can remember. Oh, okay. Hello. How's it going? Monique. Thought we'd start with a reception. We have a lot to learn from each other. Okay. What are we about to do here? I convinced Abby to release you. Don't make me regret that. This is their land. Believing that they'll let us live here happily ever after. It's stupidity. You're wrong. There's enough here for everyone. We just need to make them see that it's in their interest to share. It's very optimistic. I'll say that much. Very optimistic. Michael. They notice Murphy. I recognize him. You got a problem? You sort of sit around there and I am up time. I stick it. Don't get flushed. Mm. I'm sorry, man. I don't speak ground. All right, Murphy. Yeah, don't, don't, don't take that shit from them. What the fuck? To that man. Oh, what? He was the one who came in me. Two days work detail. Work detail? Just what? Care to make it free? You're gonna burn just like your friend. Yeah, I would have punched him too. Yeah. 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 Okay. I I'm on Murphy's side. I'm sorry. Kane trying to show off how big his dick is by like punishing him for what? What? It is simple. They can't breathe our air. Why not just open the door and be done with it? Let them burn. Burn them. All she offers is no. Quint. We've lost thousands. How many have you lost, girl? Probably just as much. I agree with Quint. We have an army. Let's use it. I don't care how many men you have. If you can't get to your enemy, you can't win. I need no whole walk up. Nikon D shock. Quinn's right. Waiting for Bellamy is not a plan. It's a prayer. Excuse me. I need some air. Way to keep her nerves up, Clark. What if we run into real reapers? Won't they wonder where you've been? All they see is the red. Once you take it, nothing else matters. How much did you remember from when you were on it? Everything. Okay. Can we get a story? Can we get something interesting out of you? Not so brave now, are you, Sky Girl? I mean, Clark is annoying, but still. Can't let this guy punk you. Would he actually hit her? I mean, maybe. Fair enough. Bird. Oh! What the hell did that? Okay. I wish I cared about her, but okay. I got you off work detail. Oh yeah? How'd you do that? Why? You knew my son. 
and I'd like you to take me to his grave. Interesting. I'm told the graves are unmarked. You can show me which is his. How did he get him off work detail though? Work detail. Is he lying? Jumping up by you, jump by up. Thank you. Where's your guard? He killed her. I go not play cop around that man no more. You gonna play stay with gone. What is that? Oh no. What? Oh shit, you need a sacrifice for this? What was that? A dinosaur? Why are you in here? Oh, is that a zoo? Where are we? Where is it, a lion or something? Oh, it's a monkey! What in the fuck? Are you fucking kidding? That was kind of cool, but... Mm. Come on. Let's do this. Alright, play your role, Bellamy. You about done? What? I gotta be heading back. What happened to my son? Well, your bitch killed him. Stabbed him in the neck with yeah. The she took from me. Why would she do that? She couldn't kill you. Camp U is that way. We're arrested at the dropship for a while. See it yourself. I wonder what Jaha's gonna do. Hmm. Time for one more. Step aside, Sky Girl. We're hungry. Make me. Give this girl what she wants. Okay. She wants more. Oblige her. This is about as realistic as I expected. He can disown like Ozan. Well, you're not going to kill her, so. Just fight. I think that's enough. Time in time, such a dog. Okay. I was afraid Octavia was gonna do some crazy ass kung fu shit and she was gonna embarrass this motherfucker. But this I like. Cause it shows that Indra grew like a respect for her. I've seen your strength, it's true. But now you waver. Couldn't leave me to die. That was weakness. You wanna know why I saved you? Because I need you. God forbid one of your generals becomes commander. When I die, my spirit will find the next commander. That's how you became commander. How are your leaders chosen? I think I'm ready to fight. It's coming in. You guys are not beating a gorilla straight up. That was anticlimactic, but okay. Do you know what a warrior's second is? An apprentice. Oh, shit. I can make you a great warrior, Octavia of the Sky people, if you're willing to do what it takes to become my second. Why her specifically? I mean, good. It'll start tomorrow. Why are you being so nice to me? Everyone deserves a second chance. That's why we sent the hundred to the earth in the first place. What a lot of crap. I know you don't want to hear this, but sometimes you have to sacrifice the few to save the many. Good can come out of even the darkest acts. 
We both have suffered at the hands of the grounders. We both have been betrayed and imprisoned by our own people. I thought you were supposed to be inspiring. There is a place for all of us. The Dead Zone? A City of Light? A City of Light. I feel like it's it's like a, a euphemism for death or something. Like heaven. As soon as they open and take doors, we attack. Do not let it close. Unless they're all dead, you go in, I'll make it look like you escaped. Another raider party. What are you doing? Have to go back is the only way. Go back! No way! Fight back! I think I'm trying to escape. He's on the throne enough. Amen. Taking Cam Ram Chibawu Day. What do you want from me? You know so little about them. You've earned their respect. I need you to be my eyes and ears. You want me to spy on the Chancellor? Be a spy? Well, that's treason. We're at war, Anakin. And then we're gonna have Octavia make a choice. When Indra finds out, they asked you to spy on me, didn't they? I, uh, I don't know what to say. How's it going on out here? What the hell is this? We're going to the City of Light. Do you even have a map? No. And how do you know where you're going? I don't. But I will not be ruled by fear. You want to stop being treated like a criminal, then you have to stop thinking that that's all you are. Hmm. Interesting. And let me show you there's so much more for you than this. Yo, I'm, I'm like digging this. They don't have a big group, but this is cool for now. Look at that. Come on. Yeah, come on. He got a smile on his face. My boy Murphy. Let's go home, my guy. We should go. That cage won't hold forever. Wait. They keep... Hmm, I might be reading this wrong, but I don't know. I was wrong about you, Clark. Your heart shows no sign of weakness. I think I know how to take Mount Weather. We've been trying to get inside, but they've already let us in. We just need someone on the inside to let them out. If he can't get inside, we can't win. He will. Alexa, this is gonna work. Come on. I could have sworn that was the plan unless I was just... Thinking faster than the show. Next. Harvest them all. Oh, shit. So that was uh, the 100 season two, episode 10, Survival of the Fittest. Well, the episode was pretty okay. Um, all right, so I guess it just takes a while for that Lincoln storyline to come back into play because now I guess things start to make sense a little bit. Like I said, it just wasn't interesting at first. Now it kind of feels like there's at least some role that it's playing, which is interesting, but now Lincoln is back to where he was. Don't know if it's if he's going to be able to survive at this time. I guess that's the big question, I guess. Um, Bellamy is about to be harvested, which means he's not going to be joining the Cerberus program, which means he's not going to be a Reaper. He's just going to be like uh, just drained of his blood, right? Um, so that's something. All right, I just want to just come out and say it. I feel like there's something happening between Lexa and Clark. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the way they're they're shooting it or the way the actors are kind of portraying their their characters, but it feels like they're into each other more than just comrades, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm saying they're giving me strong vibes that those two are probably going to hook up. It could happen, right? I don't know. Because they're, they're just, there's like a couple of times in this episode, and even in a few episodes before, 
where I noticed that Lexa was kind of throwing Clark these like little glances or like the camera would just kind of linger on her for just like an extra second, you know, whenever she's like with Clark or something like that and vice versa. So, and I could be misreading it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, I like to, to pick up on certain things and I feel like I picked up on, um, on something, something sprouting. Seeds have been planted, but I feel like something's happening there. And speaking of that storyline, it, it, it was kind of cool seeing a gorilla be like this monster out in the, out in the woods. And it looked like they kind of just stumbled onto like his zoo enclosure, which is neat to think about, which means there's, there's probably other zoo animals out there. But the one thing I was trying to figure out is why was the gorilla so damn hostile? You know what I mean? Um, gorillas are supposed to be like really intelligent. And I know you guys are like, oh my God, just relax. It's a gorilla. It's supposed to be scary. But I'm just like, but is there anything specifically done? To the is he changed somehow? Because remember all the way back in season one where they saw the deer and it had like a split face. I was trying to look to see if the gorilla had any sort of like unique characteristics about it perhaps it was deformed or, or just you know radioactive in some way i don't know it just but the way i looked at it, it just looked like a regular gorilla that just happens to like act like a horror movie monster <laughs> for some reason like i didn't like they they had a moment where clark and alexa not alexa clark and alexa hid in its enclosure tricked it did the whole switcheroo and left locked it in and um that was it i was like oh it's kind of anticlimactic i was like okay let it in and maybe have your sword ready so as soon as it rushes in you just uh and get it but no they just let it in they just run out oh okay that wasn't that exciting but okay maybe a gorilla will come back into play somehow maybe they'll be like oh uh we're gonna unleash this gorilla to help us somehow i don't know or maybe they'll lead someone into that enclosure that could be interesting, too. I don't know. I we'll, we'll, guess we'll figure that out when, when we get there. But the biggest storyline I kind of am digging right now is between Jaha and Murphy. And Jaha has always kind of struck me to be that kind of wise individual, almost like the Yoda of the series. He's wise. He, he's very selfless. He does what he needs to do for the benefit of, of the many and like he said, he's like, sometimes you have to sacrifice a few for the good of the many. And, you know, it, I, I, I can't speak to what I would do in that situation. But if it's all about survival, you got to do what you got to do. That's all I'm going to say. Of course, I can't speak to myself since I never put myself in that situation. But you never know what you got to do until the time comes. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I definitely want to see where Jaha and Murphy go with their small band of, of supporters that are following them to the city of light past the dead zone. And it kind of hit me in this episode. I don't know if it was supposed to like kind of click with me earlier on, but is the city of light supposed to be like a metaphor or like um, some sort of euphemism, some sort of, I feel like it's a trick. I feel like the city of light is, is like some sort of like, a metaphor for heaven like if you go there you're sacrificing yourself to whatever it is and you will be accepted in the afterlife in the city of light that's what i'm getting i could totally be wrong but that's what i'm getting and i don't want that to happen i just mm, i just don't know i i don't see a city of light actually existing i mean it very well could because i think in the last episode um fuck's her name uh alexa brought up the, the the ice nation i'm just like what the hell so if there's an ice world or something an ice faction why can't there be a light faction i don't know i'm just saying i'm thinking it's a euphemism or a metaphor or whatever so we'll find out when we get there but enjoyable episode nonetheless even though it was kind of it, it didn't really like it wasn't as epic as i thought it was gonna be I mean, it set up a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. It was one of those episodes that kind of set up things for, I guess, the next episode or whatnot. But Octavia got interesting. Lincoln got interesting. So at least there's that. Because I started out the this video talking about how much 
I was like, I was uninterested in their storylines, but at least now it's coming back into play and I can understand or at least can accept what they're telling me and not be like, what the hell? What? 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 But I guess we're going to figure out what happens with Lincoln next time. And I guess I'm just going to leave it there. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my review and enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this video with me in its entirety, that option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below or pinned in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you got to do is drop a like, comment down below, which you want to see me react to next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of the 100 as we get one step closer to the season two finale. Can't just wait. Can't wait to see what happens next. So until then, adios. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up. <laughs>